Hello Internet, I am Xenon and welcome back to the Star Forge beta. So if you look down at the uh, time of this video you'll probably notice it's fairly short and that's because of a few reasons. Um, one, they've updated recently and as part of that update they've reset all the maps so I had to restart from the beginning. Uh, two, they've said yet again that release is not too far away and they think that they've pretty much got the game done as they they want and I don't know tell you where I'm at I've uh, you know been following this game since it was on Indiegogo I backed that that's how I got it in early alpha when it was just like a a uh, infinite health desert wasteland and you could tunnel and fight monsters and that was about it and the monsters couldn't do anything to you because, you know, you're invincible. That's what it was back then. Um, they were, you know, back then saying they were going to try and make it so you could go to space and, um, you know, tunnel to the other side of the planet, like they'd be finite. And, um, you know, that was all this kind of stuff that attracted me to it. And they also had, like, unlimited gun customization and all sorts of stuff. The game we have, well, you've seen it. The last six videos I've done, or five, because uh, the one before that was an alpha. So the last five videos I've done, uh, that's that's the entire game. There is no more. All you have to do is repeatedly raid those uh, crash ships to get blueprints, and that is how you progress. To me, uh, that's it's boring. <laughs> it's hard to say. It's you know I don't want to keep on going back to the exact same location and repeatedly raiding it. I wouldn't mind if I had to set out and explore and discover other crash ships or, you know, other kind of events and tunnel down and find things, but that's that's it. You go in there, you find different blueprints, and that's how you advance. And they're apparently putting a space helicopter back in so you can go up and check out meteor, meteors, but again, that'll, you know, be, what is it, 20, 30 minutes of entertainment, and that's about it. There's it's still no depth, like, that's my problem with this game. That it's just a very finite amount of things you can do and it's one structured path of repeatedly raiding a ship to get everything. So I think for now I'm, I'm just done with this game. It's not delivered on what I thought it would be according to their uh, campaign at the start and it would have been nice this game had such huge potential but you know, I, I guess that happens when you're a game developer. Sometimes you have to compromise on goals, and the game you end up making isn't always the one that you set out to make in the beginning. So, you know, it's a shame. Kind of sad and disappointed rather than angry or frustrated or anything, but yeah, it's just, it's just a letdown, really. But I might uh, check it out again on full release and see if they can prove me wrong, if they um, you know, actually put in something that makes it worth playing but at the moment it's there's just nothing to do this isn't a game to me it's just uh, it's an alpha still really because to me a beta is when uh, the game is feature complete and this this isn't it just doesn't feel like it's complete because it's it's extremely repetitive like why should I go raid that thing repeatedly and the other part is whenever you get close to the crash ship um, your FPS takes a huge blow. Um, I'm guessing that's because of all the monsters around it and maybe the the radiation stuff. Like, see, just loading it now. My FPS has started to crash. And that's just loading all the monster AI, I think. <laughs> so, yeah, it kind of clears up once they all do load, but it still stays fairly low in that area. <sighs> but, yeah. In this last update, they have improved... Um, FPS for me a little bit uh, around the ships it seems to have gotten a bit worse to be honest but yeah that's that's it sadly disappointed and this is where we end up they have changed the terrain too so I'm missing that's why they uh, reset the maps it seems kind of pointless to me but hey they did that <laughs> anyway guys like I said I'll probably check this out again when it's in full release or if I happen to notice that there's been a big update and my mind might have been changed um, by what they've done, but as of this stage, I've done everything in this game that I want to do. So there's no point continuing on. 
And yeah, thanks for uh, for watching. Thanks for the support of the series so far. Hopefully, we'll get to see more out of this game in the future. I really do hope that uh, it improves, and they don't just release it as it currently is, and maybe just fix a few bugs. Like, it's, this isn't enough, <laughs> especially for twenty dollars. Like, it's a huge price to pay for this. Oh, I think I paid fifteen or ten or something when I backed it. But yeah. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. And I hope to see you next time, if this improves.